Hey, welcome back. Let's mobilize the transverse tarsal joint. So this functional joint known as the transverse tarsal joint uh, is made up of two articulations. So we have on the medial side, the talonavicular joint, which is gonna be right here. And on the lateral side, we have the calcaneocuboid joint right here. So the transverse tarsal joint is a triplanar joint. So supination and pronation occur at this joint. But when we mobilize, we're gonna mobilize each of these articulations individually. The calcaneocuboid joint is known as the little subtower joint because it moves very similarly to the subtower joint. The talonavicular joint is also a triplanar joint, but a majority of the motion that occurs at this joint is in the frontal plane. So I'm gonna show you a couple techniques to uh, increase or improve mobility of both of these articulations that contribute to the transverse tarsal joint. All right, let's mobilize the transverse tarsal joint by starting on the medial side and specifically mobilizing the talonavicular articulation. So my right hand is going to firmly stabilize the calcaneus in order to minimize subtower joint mobility. My left hand, I'm going to find the navicular tuberosity. I'm going to put the navicular within my first web space, and I'm going to glide superiorly or dorsally. See, it creates inversion of the forefoot, and then I'll glide inferiorly or in a plantar direction right there. An interesting thing from a, an assessment standpoint is if you supinate the foot, then that should lock out the midfoot or decrease mobility in the transverse tarsal joint since that's the closed pack position. You can see there should be less motion there, but when I pronate, the subtower joint and the foot that unlocks and there should be more mobility in the midfoot and the transverse tarsal joint. Now let's move laterally to the calcaneocuboid joint. I'm palpating the fifth metatarsal, finding the base of the fifth, and then I move superior, posterior, medial, and use this key grip to get a hold of the cuboid. Now the calcaneocuboid joint is known as the little subtower joint because it's a triplanar joint that moves very similarly to the subtower joint. So again, like the talonavicular joint, I need to make sure I firmly stabilize the calcaneus. If not, you can see when I try to mobilize here, you're getting lots of motion from the subtower joint. So my right hand will be placed on the calcaneus, lock out the subtower joint, and you can see my oblique direction of force for this mobilization. Again, we're combining the motions of supination and pronation. So my direction of force should be in the triplanar motion associated with those two uh, pronation and supination motions at the midfoot. Hey, thanks for watching this video on mobilization of the transverse tarsal joint. Uh, if you felt it was helpful, please give it a like. Also consider subscribing to our channel. I've also included links to a few other OrthoNugs videos here that you're going to want to check out. Thanks again.